everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly, Dave. Dave's Willie. Really. Welcome to my world, everybody. Yippee dippy doo. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, get that out of the way. Uh, we are talking about the rock group now. This is no other rock group out there. It's not your Metallicas of the world. It's not your Guns N' Roses of the world. We have their, their we have their, you know, groupies and thing, people that like Guns N' Roses, Metallica. That's great. Wonderful. Wonderful, everybody. But we're going to talk about another rock band that uh, uh, it's always a miss. I call it the miss. We're always giving rock bands a miss. Uh, because of their uh, their attributes to what they've done to the tribute to the music industry, this no uh, this rock band needs no introductions. They would say uh, they, this rock group goes by the name of Pink Floyd. Now, why am I mentioning this Pink Floyd thing? Uh, because there are a lot of people out there that uh, thinking that Pink Floyd has put out some good songs. Good songs. Um, let me let me. Uh, I didn't do any research about this. Just so everybody gets this. I didn't do any research about Pink Floyd and their rock so-called music that they have out there. Um, uh, now, Pink Floyd, if you don't know already, if you have lived under a rock, I mean, I'm trying to make this funny to you people. Uh, if you haven't lived under a rock, Pink Floyd is the ultimate rock band out there, what people are claiming that they are. Uh, I'm going to go by what they're saying out there. Uh, Pink Floyd is what you don't know, folks, is a big rock band. They're, they came out of, uh, of London, England, uh, for that matter. A uh, big rock band. Uh, they don't have very many people listening to their uh, rock albums, but there's a few rock albums that were getting noticed out there in the rock world. Uh, there was a, one album that a lot of people seem to paraphrase or talk about one of their albums that they had well back in the 70s. I think it was something to do with the moon. Something to do with the moon. I don't know. Anyway, I forgot the uh, title of the album. Anyway, uh, it was some Luminati uh, <laughs> album kind of look to it. Uh, but yeah, it was Under the Moon or whatever the title was, the album title was called. Anyway, Pink Floyd, they've been around since the 70s, if you can believe that. From the 70s. This is a good show. There was one song that I uh, took, a, took a look at it. Now, this is, people were saying, gotta take a listen to this song. Well, I actually did. I, I actually did just that, as they would say. I actually just did that uh, recently. Uh, the song that they have on one of their albums called Echoes. Uh, this was a music video that they created. Uh, now, it was very, it was a very good video. I gotta admit, it was a very good production video. Um, but they did it somewhere else. I can't remember where it was done, but it was in, um, um, the visuals that they put out there was pretty good. Pretty good. They didn't do it in an audience sort of way. They didn't put out an audience to an arena area. They put, uh, they went to one of these places where, um, Romans used to, uh, walk around in a stadium like that. Um. They thought of the idea of putting their band there and uh, create a music video. They call it creating the music video. And uh, Pink Floyd, um, you know why I'm talking about this, people? You really want to know why I'm talking about this band? Because they've been around since the 70s. Uh, people quoted their band, uh, Pink Floyd, uh, how great the albums were, uh, how many great songs they put out. Um, now, I'll, I'll, I'll mention some uh, songs they put out a while back. This is well back in the 70s and 80s. Uh, they have a song called Money. The other one was uh, uh, the Wall song. Uh, and it was about the about children and stuff like that into the into the song itself, the phrases, the lyrics to it. Um, and they were singing about the teachers in schools. And uh, let me, uh, it, it's in the verse. It's in the verse of one of the songs. Uh, so. A money song, they did a money song, they did about a wall, uh, they did about, uh, one of their songs I took a look at it, it was like a second look to me. Uh, I took a look at this music video called Echoes. Now, I heard a few, uh, I heard a bit of this song at the beginning of it, and it sounded pretty good, it sounded like pretty good, it sounded like that 70s kind of feel to it, uh, in a way. But the song title was called Echoes, that was their name of their song. Uh, that they put out. And I listened to it for a few minutes. I said to myself, well, this is a darn good song. How come I never listened to it before? Uh, so anyway, uh, so all you Pink Floyd fans out there, 
no hard feelings. I want to say this. I want to acknowledge this. Just like people like to say, I want to acknowledge this. Pink Floyd rock group. It's not just the uh, it's not just the Guns N' Roses uh, <laughs> fan base or the Metallica groups uh, that people like to tout about. Uh, this is another rock band that you people have heard about since the early 70s. Uh, Pink Floyd, big massive group called Pink Floyd. They put out good some good songs. Uh, they had a song called The Wall. I don't know if you've heard about that several times. Uh, but Money, uh, they had a song called, called Money, if you can believe that. Uh, and they put a song called Echoes, one of their song titles. Um, I forget what album it was on, but you could, guys could research that. Um, but I think Pink Floyd, um, if you were naming some albums out there, I think they put out a few of them. Uh, but uh, they're a big, huge fan. I saw a, a lady a while back. She was wearing a t-shirt of Pink Floyd. And I said to myself, well, if they're a great band that they say they are, well, maybe, maybe the Pink Floyd group is really that great. They're not like Metallica's of the world. They're not like Guns Roses of the world. They're not like a rock group, or they're not like country. They're not like jazz music. They're they're sort of like in between. They're like the '70s and '80s type of rock band. Um, and they they came a long way from early '70s and '80s. And they put out a lot of songs. I didn't realize how many songs they put out there. I mean, I, I, for me, for me, I just heard it through uh, uh, through a lot of. Uh, uh, a lot of people are into music a lot uh, these days, and they think they always quote Pink Floyd as their best albums out there they put out. Now, I just heard the song called Echoes. This is their title song, Echoes, and I take a look at the first few, uh, uh, well, just a few minutes into the song, and I'm saying to myself, well, this is a nice, good song. I'm saying it's not, it's not cheesy or anything. It's a nice, good song. It's kind of like a 70s kind of a song to it, uh, if you can listen to it very carefully. Um, and it's a 70s song, and Pink Floyd's been around a long time. People have researched this rock band. Uh, they've been around for, since the 70s. There's a song called The Wall. You may have heard about in the lyrics. They even mention about teachers and schools and uh, in the, uh, the verses of the song. Um, and they mentioned about money. This is Pink Floyd, mind you. This is not like the Guns Roses and Metallica of the world. Uh, this is not like your uh, uh, Garth Brooks. It's not like your Garth Brooks. It's not like jazz music. It's not like hip hop. It's not like any of that rap groups that I could mention right here if, you, if I wanted to, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, like I said, Pink Floyd, I want to uh, examine, well, not really examine it, but just really kind of uh, give a second look. NASA likes to do this second look thing. Uh, we're going to give a second look on this Pink Floyd thing. Um, it's a rock band. It's a, from the 70s. Uh, I grant you that. It's from the 70s. This band came a long way from the 70s. And there's, uh, they have Pink Floyd fans out there. I kid you not. Um, now, I don't know who's the front singer of that band, but you, if you want to say anything about the singer of the front band of the uh, Pink Floyd, go right ahead, because I, I don't even research who's the front guy of the, of the rock group. Um, I think it was David Geffen. Is it David Geffen? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I forget his name, but I think that's the front singer of Pink Floyd. And they have numerous songs out there. You might have heard them on radio stations, TV stations. Um... They're a pretty good group. They're a pretty good group. I just heard their one song called The Wall, and I thought that was pretty good. That song that they produced out there in the world. You know, the song that they put out there. Um, and it was, it's been done many times. Many, uh, let's say, a lot of uh, musicians tribute to the song. It's not just Pink Floyd singing it. It's other band members are singing it. So, um, you get your Canadian singer, I'll give you I'll give you an example, this Canadian singer, she, he goes by the name of Brian Adams, you may have known him. Um, he was one of these guys who did a, uh, uh, these tribute concerts, and he tributed that, he did one of the songs from Pink Floyd called The Wall, and he tributed that song to everybody else who liked Pink Floyd. I was, uh, for me, I'll tell you this much, folks, I was never a Pink Floyd fan, never ever in my wildest dreams ever a Pink Floyd fan. Until I, until I saw that video called Echoes. I didn't even know, I just wanted to try out the song to see what it was all about. It's a lengthy song, by the way, folks, in case you're wondering, it's a lengthy song. It's not a, like a three-minute song. It's very lengthy. 
Uh, and uh, they did it somewhere. Uh, and, and if you go check the music video, the original music video, you'll understand why the song is so great. Uh, and uh, the camera person, he, he kind of zoomed in the camera, he zoomed in the camera lens to get in too close because they were quite far from where the camera was. Uh, but they had their band members there, and uh, and I listened to the song. It was a very good song, very good song. It wasn't too cheesy. Uh, it was very good. It was just, um, I don't know, what's it, how do you describe it as? Uh, 70s, if you were to listen to this, it would be like a 70s song, if you were to listen to this. Uh, it'll be just in that uh, in that realm. Um, it was a good song. It was a very lengthy song. It's, it's kind of like November Rain of, of Guns N' Roses. It's a lengthy song, and it goes on forever. It goes about almost 10 minutes, if you can believe that. 10 minutes into the song. Uh, and at, at very at the end, to begin and end. 10 minute song. It's not like a 5 minute song or 3 minute song where it starts and it ends at 3 minutes. Uh, this is a, a lengthy song. This is not like short song. It's not like a short song, like a three minute song. It's lengthy. Um, so I, I noticed from the music industry, from the industry, uh, trust me, I know all these things in the music industry. This is not like the third person who's saying this stuff. Um, Pink Floyd is the band. Uh, now, I for one, was never a Pink Floyd fan, just like everybody else out there in the world. I was never a Pink Floyd fan. And uh, what, what I'm conveying to you guys, what I'm actually saying is, I'm never a Pink Floyd fan. I'm more like a Guns N' Roses fan to a Metallica fan. I'm more like that, uh, structure-wise. Uh, I thought Guns N' Roses had good songs out there. I thought Metallica had great songs out there. I was thrilled like, like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> I was that thrilled. Uh, but I was never a Pink Floyd fan. I just heard a couple of their songs, but never thought I was ever a Pink Floyd fan. But I did, I, I did take a look at that Wall song and um, on the Money song that they had out. Uh, the other song I heard about was the uh, Echo song. It was called the Echo, a song title called Echoes. Um, and it's a lengthy song. It's kind of like a November, a November rain song. It's very lengthy in nature. Uh, it's not very short. It's not a three-minute song. It's a ten-minute song. So it's very lengthy. It's it's no joke. If you if you're uh, if you're geared to that, it's a lengthy song. Uh, if you like a three-minute song, this is not this is not your song, by the way. This is not like your three-minute song that you have to wait through the whole entire song for three minutes. Um, this is lengthy. This is very lengthy, indeed. Um, not all songs get lengthy. Uh, but uh, when I saw the actual song, it's very lengthy. It got up to a bit up to about 11 minutes in length. And uh, it's just, it's, it's kind of like the long version, long version song. Uh, without the edited version to it. Uh, so it's a lengthy song. So I want to, I want to uh, prize by saying, uh, I'm never a Pink Floyd fan. I'm a Guns Roses fan. I want to acknowledge that just like I acknowledge uh, Joe Biden. I want to acknowledge that I'm a Guns Roses fan, Metallica fan, and I'm sort of like an 80s band uh, fan kind of thing. But never a Pink Floyd fan. Never, never until recently. Uh, until recently. So it took several years to get noticed. Uh, so I listened to him several times here and there, but never a Pink Floyd fan. Uh, I listened to one of their songs. I just thought I would get used to hearing this and see what it, see if it's any cheesy kind of a cheesy song or not. Uh, but anyway, I talked. I listened to it for a few 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 minutes of the song. And I thought to myself, well, "This is a good song. It's a '70 song, and why guy I have never heard of this song before?" And uh, yeah, so it's their uh, go. So go look up the Pink Floyd song. The name of the song is called Echoes. I forget what album it's on. I, I don't research these albums, by the way. Uh, I forget what album it's on, but go go look for it. Go to your go to Wikipedia and type in Pink Floyd and check how many albums they've done. Um, but they, I'm pretty sure they did a few. Pretty much, they did a few albums. And uh, I want to iterate. So go check out the song called Echoes on the Pink Floyd albums. Uh, it's a lengthy song, it's not a short song, it's a lengthy song, so bear with me on that. It's a, a almost 10 minutes to almost close to 11 minute song. So it's very lengthy, it's not 
the short. Sometimes songs in this day and age are short. They're, they short them down to about three minutes. And that's your song. They don't edit them out. They just give you a three minute song. It's like an album version to that song. And so I want to iterate that now. So I'm going to now admit that I'm a Pink Floyd fan just because of that video. Yeah, so I want to get kudos where kudos is due. I want to give a big thumbs up. I'm a big, huge uh, Pink Floyd, uh, Floyd fan. And I saw the song called Echoes, and I said, it was a music video. Mind you, it was a music video. It was well done. It was great. You should go check this out. I'm not kidding. Uh, it was done in um, a Roman arena. I forget where it was. It was done in a Roman a Roman's arena. It was a big arena, and it was... It was pretty good. It was, it was a pretty good music video. I, I almost liked it at the point. Um, and it really showed what the Pink Floyd uh, looked like. This was a 70s music video. Uh, they, had big, uh, they had big film cameras filming this music video of Pink Floyd and the band, uh, band members. And, uh, and yeah, I forget the guy's name now. I don't know who the front guy, the singer of the band. I don't know. Someone will have to tell me. Um, and Pink Floyd, I'm now uh, going to admit this that I'm a Pink Floyd fan now at the moment. But I did check out that song called Echoes. I just I, I just happened to try it out, uh, the song, and it was great. A few, few minutes of the song, it started out really good. And I thought, wow, this is a great song. Very good. It wasn't too cheesy. You know, if you're a 70s fan, uh, it wasn't too cheesy. Uh, you know, if you say to yourself, hey, this is a great song, it's not too cheesy, it's not, you know, garbage or not so good song, you know, it's like a hit or miss song, uh, but yeah, Pink Floyd, they're still around to this day, uh, they're a big band, uh, people tell them as a big band, uh, and, uh, it's not like a Guns Roses band, it's not like a Guns Roses Metallica fan, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's, it's Pink Floyd. I've heard them several times, but never listened to their any of their songs until up till now. Uh, so, yeah, it took me a while. It took me almost 30 plus years to listen to their album. And the album covers, if you go to a record store, I don't know if there are record stores anymore, uh, Pink Floyd will be one of them in a, sh uh, a record shelves. Uh, and, um... I wanna, I'm just getting used to hearing their songs, because I'm, I'm never, I, at first I was never a Pink Floyd fan. Never came across of listening to their songs. But yeah, uh, if you want to go listen to the song called Echoes, that was the song title of their song. Um, go take a look at it, I highly recommend it. It's not too cheesy, it's not too over the edge song. Uh, it was pretty good, it was a 70s feel to the song. Um, and they do a good jo uh, job on their songs. They're no question, no question. So I'm going to put this as the big thumbs up. This was a music video from the 70s. This wasn't a, a recent music video. Uh, uh, in those days, they would, uh, you would be seen and heard at the same time, not just be heard on albums. Uh, music videos are like uh, a big production music videos. The big production music videos, and they create that that way. They say original music videos, and that's what they'll say in the title of their videos. They would say original music video. Uh, this is coming from their production videos, yeah. and they use film cameras. Uh, it was a good uh, music video. If you go check this out. Type in Fake Floyd, The Echoes. You'll see you'll see the video up there somewhere. Uh, it's a good video. It's a good for you. Uh, it's just the cameras were going all around the band, all around the band. So it was kind of uh, it was slow. They moved the cameras very slowly around the band. It was kind of it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was good film photographers, they would say. Uh, but yeah, Pink Floyd put out a good song, and it was a long, lengthy one. It was very lengthy. Uh, it wasn't like three minute song. It was very lengthy. It was an, almost close to an album version. Uh, but yeah, um, they're under, I think, Columbia Records. I think they're under Columbia Records. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's the record company that they were, uh, that they had their contracts under. Um, and yeah, they're a British band. If you're wondering, 
what type uh, what type band they are. They're a British band. Uh, they're so they're kind of like you two in, in a way, like Bono's singing. Um, but Pink Floyd is good. I listened to one of their songs. I just took, I just got used to it, and I thought it was pretty good. So my recommendation: go try it out. Go try it out because I was blown away. It wasn't too cheesy. If you want my recommendation, it wasn't too cheesy. Uh, it was pretty good. It was a '70s feel to it, the song. Uh, but it was really good. It was really good. If you want the uh, karaoke version, I want to say to you people: if you want the karaoke without the vocals being sung, um, you can do that, and then sing your own lyrics to it. Uh, you can use Pink Floyd's song and have the karaoke song played over it without the vocals being used. Uh, you can have the band play it, but without the vocals being sung on it. Uh, the instrumental version, they call it the instrumental version 2, the karaoke version. The karaoke version means they took out the vocals to the song. They took out the vocals, they, they wiped out the vocals and have the instruments play. And uh, it's just the band members are playing the song. No vocal, no vocal um, uh, attributes in the song. It just, uh, the karaoke version is just the uh, instrumental version. It has no vocals, just the instrument connotation. Uh, the band played on and then there's no vocals. Uh, but if you want, if you want, if you're inclined to do that, you can add your own vocals to it. Uh, and then make it uh, sing it like the uh, like the actual guy would sing it. So there you go. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm sorry I'm going to great lengths and lengthy. This is a lengthy podcast. But I want to highlight that. I want to highlight that Pink Floyd is a great rock group. Go check them out like I did. I was never a Pink Floyd. I'm kitchen off, folks. I was never a Pink Floyd fan until I heard this song. Uh, the Echo Songs. Uh, the Echo Song. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't too cheesy, if you were asking me. It wasn't too cheesy. Uh, it was a really good song. It was kind of a 70s feel to it, to the song. Yeah. It was very eerie. Um, it's like satanic, in a way. Therapeutic song. It's like a th it's kind of like a therapeutic song, in a way, if you hear it. Um, and it's very good. And by the way, this rock group is called Pink Floyd. Go check it out. The t song title of theirs is called Echoes. I would I would go check it out. Go type it up. Just type Pink Floyd Echoes t song title. I don't know what's, uh, what what album it's on, but go check it out. Even they'll even tell you that on Wikipedia. Uh, but yeah, that's the song they said they uh, they did a music video, original music video from the seventies for that song to be played. Uh, not only been heard, but been seen. Music videos are being seen, so that there's a difference there. So you get to see the artist behind the song that that made that song possible. And so so you get to figure out who the band members are in the group. Yeah. So there you go, folks. I would put that out there. So I'm a, as they say, I'm officially a, a Pink Floyd fan, all because of that song. All because of that song, I kid you not, folks. Because I'm saying this po in the podcast here. Uh, so I'm a Pink Floyd fan. There was a young lady who wore wore the T-shirt of Pink Floyd. I'm saying to myself, well, let me go check out their songs again. This is like the second look of it. The second take, or the second uh, glance at it. Uh, let me take a look at this band, Pink Floyd. And we're going to examine their songs a bit. And to see if there are any cheesy songs that they put out. Uh, uh, so I did, and folks, um, Pink Floyd for life. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a super fan, super fan Pink Floyd of this. So don't fret. Uh, I was kind of like the Guns N' Roses uh, and the um, Metallica of the world, but never Pink Floyd, mind you. I heard about their songs, but never in my wildest dreams ever liked their music. Until, until YouTube came along. Yeah. And put me in my place. And put me in my place. And I mean, and said, I'm going to take a look at this song called Echoes. It might be a good song. It might be cheesy. Uh, it might be, you know, hit or miss, you know, song. Uh, if it's a hit, I'll like it. I'll like it. I'll really like it. I'll listen 20 times if I have to. Uh, if it's a miss, I'll give it a miss. I'll take a listen to it once and take it, give it a miss. Yeah. 
But it was a good song, very good song they put out, and I highly recommend you guys go see it. Go see the original music video, it would be great for you to do that. I highly recommend it. it's not the third person saying this. This is not like, and I'm not getting paid for saying this, folks. This, I'm kidding you not. I'm not getting paid for saying this. This is literally me saying this. So no one came up to me and said, hey, you say this. This is literally me saying this right here, right now. So I'm a Pink Floyd fan for life, and I will be. Just because of the Wall song, because of Money song, because of this song called Echoes, I don't know what albums these songs came from, but they're darn good. Anyway, uh, I want to I wanna, uh, do final thoughts here, guys, if that's okay with you. I uh, will do the final thoughts of this podcast, duration of this podcast. Um, uh, I just want to say that Pink Floyd is a great rock group. I'm going to tell it as such. Um, I don't know who the names of the band members are. You guys will have to figure that one out. Uh, who the drummer is, to the, who the guitarist player, uh, to the keyboardist. Uh, just give me your best, best uh, comments in the, uh, in the diggly do. And hit that like button, as everybody would say on YouTube. Hit that like button and, and hit that share button. I, that would be a really appreciate. I really appreciate that. I'm not kidding. We appreciate that. Hit that like button. As they smash that like button or hit the like button. Uh, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm just saying it. I'm not telling it. The same. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. You, you, by the way, you guys out there can have options. You can either subscribe to my YouTube channel or not. That's your option, folks out there. If you want to, uh, you can get fresh videos from me, or you can hear what I gotta say, or you don't want to hear what I gotta say. Oh, by the way, I do put EQ sounding on this. EQ sounding. I do put limiters on here. I do put limiters on here. Uh, on a mixing console, they have limiters. I have limiters in this podcast. Uh, so, I have <laughs> so much limiters. And I have threshold on the sound. A threshold on the sound. Uh, but, yeah. I'm going to let as much sound as I come through with it. Um, so, yeah. I'm definitely a Pink Floyd fan out there. No question about it. Hands down, I think Pink Floyd's great. Um, if you want my recommendation, uh, I'm going to leave it as that. Thank you for joining my podcast. I'm in stereo. My podcast is in stereo. I will, I will, I will, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this much. Go check out Pick Floyd. Just go check out that song called Echoes. That's the name of the song that they put out. Uh, it was a 70s song. 19, I don't know what year it was. It was somewhere around the 1970s. Um, and uh, I want to leave you at that. So I'm going to leave you, uh, I'll bid you guys adieu. Because I'm going to leave you right now after this podcast. And until, until the next time, I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget, go try out Pink Floyd. I, 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 I challenge you guys, they like to say. I want to challenge you guys to go, ch- uh, go listen to Point Floyd of their song Echoes. It's, it's very delightful. I'm going to challenge, it's like the 30 minute challenge, 30 minute challenge, I'm going to give you guys a challenge, a 30 minute challenge, to go try it out. If you, if you guys succeed this challenge by listening to Pink Floyd Echo Song, uh, you guys win the prize, you guys definitely win the prize in my eyes. Yeah. So, I'm going to give you guys a 30 minute challenge to go listen to Pink Floyd, the song called, the song called Echoes. Go try it out, tell me if it's cheesy or not. Uh, I, I, this is my recommendation, folks. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to leave you at that. I'm going to end this as a happy note, happy medium. And, um, yeah, go we'll try it out. Don't forget, I will be back on the next podcast. Uh, what you hear in the background is uh, Fox News Now. That's their YouTube channel uh, in the background. Uh, they're doing a Senate hearing. They're doing a Senate hearing. And I will put this up on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, just remember, everybody, this is the year 2020. In the next 10 years, you won't be hearing about me. And, by the way, by the way, it is very cold in the year 2020. Very chilly, very cold. It's minus 6 degrees. Minus 6 degrees, folks. It's like the uh, cold as North Pole could be. It's chilly. (laughs) 
<laughs> anyway, anyway, um, I would like to stand, I'd like to have to, uh, I'm, we're going to end this conversation. I would like to say we're going to end this conversation right now on this podcast. See you guys. Adieu.